good morning. So it's Monday and I am kind of starting off the week slow but I have a lot to get done today just like one of those kind of monotonous things where I'll be reading and writing a lot but it's not hard thinking but it's just things that need to get done. Made my smoothie. I don't have any smoothie straws so I'll be drinking this very mousse-like substance with probably too much Nutella in it just from this glass and yeah so I'll be working today I'll be working every day this week of course but um I'll be working extra hopefully efficiently today and then in about 10 minutes I have like kind of our morning meeting it's kind of like a meeting that happens once or twice a week I don't know I don't it's hard for me to keep track of like the names of the meetings and who's and what but I go to most of them unless I have like a really serious conflict so gonna get started aside from my smoothie I also have water gray so I'm gonna jump into it <laughs> Good morning. So it's actually been a couple of days now since I last talked to you. I very honestly deleted what I was working on. It was very stressful. Um, like it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. And so I had to kind of like buckle down and redo some of what I had done. It wasn't like everything I had done. Um, and somehow, however my computer set up, it doesn't, if I'm, I'm not saving to like some kind of external drive it doesn't like keep version histories which is crazy I don't think I've ever seen that so like it is, it is what it is I did get it done I actually got it done early because I just wanted to make sure and I did just keep sending it to myself at different intervals since I knew it wouldn't save a version history and I think what happened was I accidentally deleted some of it and then when I went back a few times and didn't find it I was like well let's close this and I think that was like the worst thing I could do anyway that was it that was a lot but I got like the memo that I was working on done and it was good so like that's fine and today I'm working a little bit early because and like I'm nobody's gonna see me that's why I'm still in this pajama shirt but like I am gonna work a little bit early because I'm going to kind of like take a quasi my hours a little bit different because I'm not in the same time zone and I kind of have like say over the hours that I work except for like specifically like if I'm at a meeting or meeting with someone or something like that so I'm taking an, a longer lunch and fitting in an interview so I'm gonna try to be ready just when I get started so it's kind of like a get ready with me um, I've already put this on which is my favorite it's like a tinted sunscreen and it just looks so good and then looking at you guys uh the dark purples under my eye aren't the worst they're not they're never great but they're not the worst but I think I'm still gonna color correct because you never know how it's gonna show up and let's see okay like I said I'm gonna color correct with this and then I'm gonna put a tiny amount of this mostly concentrated just to cover the color correction and not a lot all over my face and then do like mascara and stuff so I'm gonna get that done really quickly so that I can get started with my day get ready and move on Fine, baby. Okay, so that's done, and I am going to get ready and just get started working. That maybe I'll circle in when I'm actually like doing the like interview for a minute but it's kind of hard because like it'll be like a talking to a few people back to back to back you do what you gotta do 
So I finished with my uh, interview and I'm making lunch really quick. Turkey sandwich. Um, and I've got like two jars of pickles out um, because this one only has one in there and I want two. They're the spears. Um, interview, interviews went decently well. I feel like you never know how these things go until after the fact, but um, I won't have to make a decision until after I go through the entire interview process later this summer. It's just kind of getting it out of the way. Um, the big thing for it was that my internet kept going out and that's one of those things that like everybody knows with digital or not digital online type of interviews that you never know. Um, I had one where like an alarm kept going off and I couldn't control that. Um, not today. Um, this was like a while back and let's see the internet thing like I guess I could have reset the internet before starting but and I, I will in the future but you just don't know like the internet was working fine it's working fine now like and I mean working fine in the fact that I was streaming live things and wasn't having an issue so that shouldn't have you know like nothing alerted me to the fact that it would but that was frustrating um but yeah making lunch before hopping on to afternoon calls like so I can I'm not visible so I can eat while I listen to them so that's good and then I'm gonna finish out my day oh I obviously changed because my, I don't want to wear uncomfy interview clothes just finished having tacos which like probably not the best thing to eat for a try on haul but didn't care um I was gonna do that but then my neighbor started mowing their grass which it it just rained like less than an hour before and I don't quite understand why that would be your instinct but they were doing yard work um and then it got dark so maybe I'll try to do it in the morning because tomorrow I'm actually going to Austin. Um, haven't got to show a lot this week. It just has been one of those weeks not particularly interesting. Um, but I thought I would talk about a couple of things. These are things that I probably won't go into the fullest of detail um, for a few or several weeks from now and like other things are more settled but um, or maybe even maybe I'll even put it on like the other channel of the like, more law school and work related stuff but um so those two things are interviews uh like OCI stuff and then my summer internship so the first thing uh, like I mentioned that I was doing an interview during lunch today and um I I'm not doing a lot of like direct things like I, I mostly plan on going through on campus interviews which of course won't be on campus they will be virtually and the callbacks will be virtual for the most part like I think the best um, well not the best but I think like the only in-person things are okay the cats are going crazy but um, I think the only real in-person opportunities for the most part are like really local firms like that are smaller and then also if people really want to I think a few firms are like giving the option to be in person but for the most part like it's expected that will that will be virtual even at the callback stage um yeah so for Stanford at least bid lists are due at the end of the week and I, it's like it's so hard to know about law firms Y'all, stop. It's so hard to know about law firms to begin with. Of course, there are ways to do your due diligence, like online, talking to other students, talking to alumni, but like it's hard to get a feel, and then that means that we won't get that touch point of actually like going to offices and meeting people in person. So it's understandable but disappointing to a certain degree just because it's so hard. And think about 
doing this after 1L is that you'll interview at this, these places, you will make a choice and, and, and like intern with them the next summer. And then basically the summer after that, that's probably where you will go. So you'll make that choice two years in advance. It's a weird thing any year, but especially this year. So that's kind of like where things are at. Um, and then like for my internship, uh, I really just like don't anticipate talking about much of, of like the things that I'm doing until they're done if possible and just that's just like for personal privacy and things like that so like I know people have found me on LinkedIn before and that's fine like I I keep kind of like my name the way that it is more so that when people professionally search for me that this isn't like the first thing they see not that I care about that either but like if you're looking for me professionally it's more helpful to find like my LinkedIn or like other things that I've done but I know that like the other direction like knowing as much about me like my name and where I go to school like you can find me that way and that's fine like it probably <laughs> makes it e easier to see like okay this is actually real it's actually true and so I actually encourage people to google people because I definitely do um but yes yeah, so I won't be putting like my internship online until that's done but I can say like it is like government type of work related to what I've done before and some of the things that I've been doing so far are just like um, drafting like memos and letters and doing small amounts of research um, just like soaking in as much as possible in the areas that I'm interested in and it's been good it's definitely been slow and interesting to be remote but um, I definitely think I'm sure it was better than I think all of the internships this summer are probably better than they were last year. Nobody knew how to handle this and it was so new. And hopefully by next summer, everything will be in person. Fingers crossed that we don't have a summer surge um, this summer or in going into fall. Um, but hopefully things will return for normal for 2L and for next summer when I'm interning. Just because like it is you know, hopefully you make the right choice for you and you enjoy where you summer, but like it really is kind of like once you know at least the only opportunity you really have to say, oh, I actually want to change my mind and try for somewhere else, but I'm going to get this right the first time. Um, I know this week is really slow, but um, hopefully we have fun in Austin visiting another one of my friends. I'm really grateful for the opportunity just to see people that I haven't seen in so long and... I, I just, I really hope that it's not that long again and that, like, we get everything under control and that we all are just, like, responsible and safe and everything like that. But I want a fun two all year. So, with that, I will pack. It's, like, 9 o'clock and I haven't packed. And I, the video that I wanted to shoot last night, I kind of want to shoot first thing in the morning. But because I'm driving to Austin, I also kind of want to start work early because my hours are kind of my own if that makes sense like the office has set hours but like the there's like a gray area between like when you have to start when you have to end because I'm on central time and it's on Easter time that like you could start it at you know eight your time if you want you could start like I, I've had days a couple days where I've had to do other things and I've been like can I start early and leave a little bit earlier or take a longer lunch so like that's fine but I just want to um but if I'm going to do that, I need to get packed and go to bed, which this is better than packing for Denver because I don't have to worry about liquids and stuff and things don't even have to be in real bags. They can just go in my car. So yeah, uh, with that, good night and I will see you next week.